Hey, I'm Corsac, and this is Late Night City. Sure, you're all ready for round two. Holy, Holy shit! shit. <laughs> Linda's here! <laughs> Woohoohoo! Yeah! You know, she told me about this once. Is she somewhere out there with two helpers feeding a quad barrel missile launches? <gasps> Oh, clear the gunners out of Quincy with extreme prejudice. There is shit going down upstairs. Holy. Oh, we got anybody here with any help? Oh, we got you. And a mine. And another mine. That's good to know. Here, play with that. I am standing on a mine. Holy shit. Come on, Reaper. Please. What is the landmine situation? Here, play with that. Who's there? Yeah, that woke him up. Let's rock. Oh, you came down to play. Perfect. That makes my life easier. Lately, you need your neck stretched, assholes. What the? Now we're talking. Discovered Quincy police. Oh, ILO, I see someone. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Come on. Where? Oh, you have. <gasps> Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, she lived through that. Did you really just miss with everything? Oh, it all hit the power armor. Got him. That's why you don't did, screw with the gunners. Did a red scorpion just fall out of the sky? Hi. Good work, Merc. You earned your pay today. We did it, Linda! We kicked those motherfuckers the hell out of Quincy! 
For now, at least. I suspect they'll be back for more. I'm beginning to think the gunners out here are brain damaged. They don't learn. But that's not important right now. That was you at the start, wasn't it? I bet it was. You almost brought the whole fucking overpass down. What is the camera Boom. doing? Boom! Boom! Pew! 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 Boom! <laughs> Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Listen, Lily. I knew it! I told everyone it was you. That was so fucking cool, Linda. I mean, I've seen some serious hammers brought down, but... I was doing it again, wasn't I? <laughs> Sorry, Linda. What's up? As I was saying, Lily, you guys need to get back to Diamond City right the fuck now. Delano's in my earpiece screaming up a storm. The gunners attacked Diamond City just like we thought they would. Delano said we're pushing them into the Mass Pike Tunnel according to plan but we're barely holding it together. Between Adam Cat's garage and Quincy, we're just stretched way too thin. I also got an update on Spears. He'll be okay. We're under orders to get back as fast as we can, but we have to retrieve him first. A small group can get over there much faster than I can muster everyone and make the trip. And you know the route well. Don't wait. Leave now. Fuck. Okay. We're out of here, Linda. See you back home. The sheriff has taken care of her part of things at the Boston Police Rationing Site. Angie said you'll find her there. Come on, we gotta run to Diamond City. This is one hell of a fucking night so far. Hey, Sheriff, uh, we're back. Spears got tagged back at the garage. He Hawkins radioed in to brief us. Spears has stopped bleeding and is stable. She and the Quincy team are bringing him back right now, slowly. Perfect. Crenshaw and some scouts took care of the bodies at the garage and are jogging back to Diamond City as we speak. We've still got tasks to accomplish before this is over. How are you holding up? I've got one more job for you. Oh my god! You should have seen it, Sheriff! We were so <laughs> badass coming out of the water! Pew pew! Pew! We were total power armor ninjas! This isn't over, Lily. The operations in South Boston have left us seriously depleted for the next few hours. I'm sure you've noticed that the gunner attack is no longer happening. We kept them from breaching the city, but only barely. It took all our remaining deputies, but we indeed funneled the gunners into the Mass Pike Tunnel just to the south. There is, to say the least, an overwhelming sniper presence covering the east exit. The gunners lost two trying to escape that way before giving up. The rest were forced into the east entrance of the tunnel, and we assume they are currently fighting their way through the feral ghouls inside. Raiders showed up to loot the gunner bodies, <laughs> and they've camped outside the exit, waiting for more to come out. Our snipers aren't shooting at the raiders, yet, since they're unwittingly doing a good job of keeping the gunners in the tunnel. Lieutenant Dan and his mechanized squad is entering from the west side of the tunnel to cut off their primary escape route. When we send in our remaining mechanized units through the east entrance, the gunners will be squeezed on both sides and forced to adjust plans. They'll have no choice but to try and escape through the long and narrow tunnel that leads to this exit I just welded shut. That is a fatal mistake. They will be bottlenecked in a narrow tunnel with no way out. We don't send regulars down there because of the ghouls. You're the last mechanized units we can spare until the South Boston team returns. I have to return to headquarters immediately. McGilly, Oaks, and Delano are literally the only deputies left there right now. We can only hope that gunners don't have a second surprise assault in store for us. You've already gone above and beyond what I've asked of you. I ask again, are you guys up for one last fight tonight? Yeah. The moment I heard you tell me these <laughs> fuckers took the Adam Cat's garage, I asked you to tell me whose head to put two bullets in. You told me? I ain't stopped since. And I still ain't done. They hurt our friends, Lily. They hurt Rizzo, they were behind your kidnapping, and they wounded Spears. Remember Fiddle. Remember Oak's daughter. Remember your friends they've taken from you. These are gunners. You know what to do. Uh, that ain't a tunnel. That's their fucking tomb. Meet Denuncius, Lily. I will see you back at HQ. Come on! Let's burn those fuckers. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Damn! Look at these bodies! <laughs> Harkins' snipers must have fucked these guys up something fierce. 
Lock and load, sidekick. <laughs> Greetings. Come on, I want this other guy. All right, fine. Sucks to be all of you. I am standing on everything that's flammable. I need two seconds to get some health. Okay. Come on, you pussies. Class is in <laughs> Lily! What the? Oh, that wasn't Lily. Thank God. You're the one who keeps f***ing me up. I need some criticals. Mother Ask and you shall receive. Turn your head into a canoe with my shotgun, you fucks. <laughs> Got him. Okay, that was intense. Oh. All right. Can you fuck sticks hear me in there? Death is here for you and she's wearing power armor. You heard her man. She's pissed the fuck off. Oh shit. Let's move it. My lily sense is tingling and I don't <laughs> like it. At least we got friends in this room. Hey. They're hurting bad. Go get some payback for the Adam cats. You guys coming? That's an assault drawn. We Even are. how old I am, and I'm getting too old for this shit. We are slightly on fire. Got company. Ain't it? This time.
Open, you have something good to say. Apparently, not good. Nice and dark. You know, I was getting tired of being able to see shit anyway. <laughs> Anyone else got anything to say? Didn't fucking think so. Stay the fuck out of my house. Hey. <clears throat> hey, you hear that one gonna screaming into a radio before we capped her? Something tells me it's got a direct line to the fuckhead behind this. Have some Grab that thing and we can words. bring it back to the sheriff. Uh, she might want to talk to that ass backler. Use the walkie-talkie from the commander. Hey. Good work. We're almost done. I'm tired. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you need. Double back. Leave the tunnel the way you came. Make sure none of the gunners are breathing, faking being dead, or hiding. If they are, put two in their head. Orders were clear and explicit. None of them are to leave this tunnel alive. I'll head back via the west entrance, and we'll rendezvous back at the department for debriefing. There's CO screaming into a walkie-talkie trying to get a hold of some colonel. I figured it might be of use, so I had my sidekick grab it. Good thinking. Make sure it's turned off. Hold on to it until you get back to HQ. Give it to the sheriff yourself. You got it, Dan. See you back home for coffee and donuts. <laughs> Hi. I see you made it back in one piece. Good work. Lieutenant Dan has made his report already. I'm pleased with both of you. He says you recovered a communications device. Indeed. Excellent. I'm not quite oh, sure what we'll do with this right now, but at least our secret gunner admirer can't listen in. You've done an excellent job today, Lily. We were stretched thin more than ever. I'm sure we couldn't have done it without your assistance. What about Spears? And the garage? I ain't had time to ask Crenshaw about him. Spears has just arrived and is being tended to by Dr. Gary. He's lost a lot of blood. Gary was preparing for a transfusion when he kicked me out. <laughs> but he was conscious and the bleeding had stopped thanks to a stim pack. The doctor is certain he will recover, but insisted he get quiet rest. You left the warning at the garage. Ain't nobody messing with them no more. I can promise you that much, Lily. Lieutenants Crenshaw and Dan have been debriefed already. They both spoke very highly of your actions through all of this. Lieutenant Harkins brought Spears back with her team. She, too, was notably impressed with your actions in Quincy. Spears will be debriefed when he's I well mean, enough. Was it ever a question I that no Lily was a badass? I have no doubt say the same thing when it comes to you leading them to the garage. Your guidance across the sea floor saved a lot of lives in what would have been an otherwise costly frontal assault. These were very, very difficult missions. You performed them admirably and bravely. Everyone here and at the Adam Cat's garage is in your debt. Oh... I'm so proud of you, Lily. I knew you could do it. You earned this today. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Oh my god. You're giving me your blade? That's the one that Whitworth... <gasps> but you can't. This one's yours, and I ain't a deputy. I mean... I mean... The officers and any deputy we could find all agreed. This is an exception. You will be the first civilian to have one of these. You are one of the bravest and most skilled fighters I have ever known, Lily. You will use it well, I have no doubt. Congratulations, Lily. This is a big deal and quite an honor. Now do us all a favor and just accept it. And as for you, <laughs> you prove your worth to us once again. Lily may have questionable taste in power armor customization, but her choice in friends remains impeccable. Sidekick. Not now, Lily. 
The strategic value it's cold, to us Lily. of having the Atom Cats as our allies and trading partners can't be measured easily in caps. Nevertheless, here they are. And please accept the T-60 issued to you earlier as a token of our appreciation. The lieutenants and I would also like you to have this. It's a potent close quarters weapon. More importantly, it marks you as a friend of the department. What's next? I cannot share that with you for the same reasons I can't oh. share it with Lily anymore. Institute memory extraction. It is for your own protection. Ah. Well, thank you. Your results speak for themselves. A tomahawk caps in a T-60 was a small price to pay for what you and Lily achieved tonight. I don't know what to say, Sheriff. I love you. <laughs> that, yeah, there. I see you turning red already. I'll spare you and say it in private later. I appreciate that more than you know. <laughs> so, uh, now that the Atom Cat's garage is secure, you think it'd be okay if Rizzo moved into the center field with me? Of course, Lily. We'd have all preferred it hadn't taken so long, to be honest. <laughs> Wedding in the greenhouse, right, sis? I wouldn't have it any other way, Lily. I'm so happy for you. Now, if you'll excuse Lieutenants Dan and I, we have work to do. There's a gunner prisoner to interrogate and the radio you gave us to inspect. Between the prisoner and rumors from Good Neighbor, we should get more info on where to proceed next. Yeah, yeah, yeah.